hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's definitely not exactly what I pictured in my head, but I think after it's all done and everything, I think it'll look good. Welcome to my she shed. <laughs> now, so this is the light gray. And actually on camera, looking at the, lint, the screen, it looks gray. It has like a more of a kind of bluish tint to it. All right, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I took you guys, uh, I took the chart, there's a chart that when I, my barn was built, it has all the different colors you, know, you can choose from, what you want your barn to be and everything. This isn't even close. But I went and bought a five gallon jug right there. I just wanted to do it and get it done, see what it looked like. I like it. I do like it. It's just, it's a little bit more on the cozy, warm side, like house colors. Um, but yeah, it, it's not dark. The charcoal gray and that's going to be on that wall, I know will be dark. But this is not my home. <laughs> this is a barn. <laughs> So the white along between the ceiling and the walls there you see isn't going to matter. Like I've said before, um, there's going to be trim going all around there. That's going to be that charcoal gray. So this is a little bit different. I like to be, I don't like to play, I don't like to follow the leader, if that makes sense. I like to kind of do my own thing, but it, it just, yeah, when my friend started putting the paint on the wall, I was like, uh. That's a little bit darker than I thought. And even she said, she's like, yeah, it's kind of bluish. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing today is, is continue on painting, but right now I'm playing musical chairs. Now, I'm moving everything this way because you can see I got a big portion of that wall complete. And I still have a bit more over here on this side. I just had that little bit done of the wall. So I've got quite a bit over here on this side to still have to, to still have to get done. So yeah, I'm gonna basically take everything like this that, that like the workbench you're sitting on right now. I'm gonna take everything and try to work it this way to give myself the room to paint over here. I mean as you guys can see, it's getting really, really close. But alright guys, well I'm gonna do that and I will get back with you guys. See you in a few have gotten stuff pushed back away from the wall the best I could because I've got so much stuff everywhere I can't probably move around but that will change pretty quickly as soon as I can get these workbenches and everything back in place. People did seem to check out my um, check out like my lean to um, build my lean to shed build back behind the barn here. If you guys want to check it out I've got a lot of content coming up I just haven't made it a huge effort to put those videos out yet. I mean, I'm barely making an effort to be able to make an effort to put these videos out. But it's a little update for you guys who like the um, animal farming side of the channel. Um, Foghorn, for you guys that are new here, he's my um, white lead horn rooster. He got me good the other day. He got me really good. Um, I'll post some um, pictures of my leg because I was walking away. Mind my, I just literally just fed him some of that, those treats, you know, out of the bag, even though know, you've seen me do. So Foghorn decides when I'm not looking, like he always does, all of a sudden I feel this claw marks on the back of my leg. He got me good. He got me. He got me pretty good. And I was like, are you serious, man? I was like, okay, now it's to the point now where, like I mentioned previously, I'm going to be a grandpa, but I can't take a chance on him if I want to carry my, my grandchild out here, you know what I mean? And him decide to jump up and say he gets him or her. The gender reveals on Saturday at 2. Cannot wait. So that's today's Friday. Tomorrow at 2, I find out the gender. But yeah, I wish I could have got that on video, to be honest with you, of him getting me like that because I'd love to see how he implemented that move. 
Like, I mean, he went through my jeans and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna let you all know as soon as I find out. I'm gonna get what I can on camera. I'm gonna try to get at least the reveal of they're doing the confetti poppers or whatever. That way I can show you guys. I keep saying it's gonna be a boy, and I think that's gonna get me because I've said it, I, I've said whatever that the boys have, my sons have kids, they're gonna be boys. I've always said it. So I have a feeling. The good man upstairs is going to be like, hey, I blessed you with two boys. You can at least deal with a granddaughter. And I'll be great with that. Like, I'll just be, I'll be ecstatic. I mean, it'd be a new experience for me. Like I said, I'll always be there for my boys. I'll always be there for my boys. I mean, parenting never stops. But, but I mean, they don't need me. You know, they don't need me like that no more. You know what I mean? There, there's certain things they do, but for the most part, they don't need the old pop. They don't need old pops like that no more, you know. This grandbaby, it's like it almost like gives me gives me a whole other purpose of life. So if you guys happen to know that feeling of being a grand, you know, a grandparent, and can relate with me saying it's a different kind of love, like it's the love is just a different type of love, you know. Throw it down in the comments. Let me know what, what exactly that means, you know? Because it's like it's, a lot of people have trouble explaining it, you know, which I understand. I appreciate everybody who's still here. It's amazing, awesome. Um, please leave me a like for a congratulations for my um, grandbaby I'm going to be having. Also, put in the comments below what you guys guess the baby's going to be. Put, put it down below in, in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys here in a few. Hey everybody, we're gonna start painting the trim boards that go up along the ceiling edge and the wall. I got some over there as well. There's 14 total, that should do it. Cause it's 32 foot long, so that's four pieces, eight foot, foot long, so that's eight. And then, um, 24 foot wide, that's three pieces that way, and three pieces of six, and eight, 14. So I should be fine. So what I did was, is I lined up all my boards, I pushed them all together at first. Just make sure they were all straight, so I know which side's the top side, it's gonna go against the ceiling. I'll need to paint, obviously, the bottom side of the underside of them, at least. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. It's getting close to the end, y'all. I'm real excited about getting these guys up because I think this is going to be the what's going to really make the whole building really stand out, the whole barn stand out, I think, in my opinion. And I, I'll be where I talked about the walls at first, about the I think it being a little bit too dark. I'm not real so sure now. I, I, I'm, it's growing on me. Like, a comfortable like home type environment like hey I'm working but I'm at home if that makes any sense but yeah for those who um, are subscribers but haven't catched other videos or this plan out new here welcome back well I know I'm gonna be, I know I'm gonna be a grandfather for like I don't know a couple months probably but last Saturday was when the gender reveal was, and that's why I found out they were gonna have a boy, which I had said it all along. Because it runs our family that way. But at the end there, I ain't gonna lie, like the last couple, two or three days before the reveal, I started thinking, you know what? I have been saying it for so long that my, my boys would have boys that watch it be a little girl, which I would have a problem with. She'd be loved just as much, if not more. Yeah, I was scared I wasn't gonna have enough of this charcoal paint left. But yeah, I'll have I'll have plenty. This is the rounded edge I was talking about. Like this is the top of the that goes to the ceiling. Like you want to at least be able to get that because it might just kind of stick out a little bit. Actually, ready, actually ready to be able to get back on the grind and get back to building again. The next big project, I'm basically taking my, one of my workbenches, the third one, looks just like these, nothing, nothing fancy at all about it, 
and turning it into a miter station. Be on the lookout for that video. But yeah, the side you see painting now there again is going to face down towards the floor. chance to uh, sit and dry all the way and so I'm gonna start over here in that far corner there and I'm really looking forward to this process because I'm gonna see how it turns out in contrast and everything hopefully it looks pretty decent so I'm gonna stop this talk short and let's we'll cut to a montage hope you enjoyed
Alright, just like that. Got all the trim in. This has been a long time coming. I really like how the trim turned out. The trim color turned out perfect. The charcoal gray is exactly how the trim of the barn looks outside, but not the walls. But there again, it's different, it's cool. I'm excited about it. That's, this is one big step that I could put behind me. But yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot more I really could say here, guys. I mean, it worked out great. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, or if it's evening, have a good night. And be glad you're not me. <laughs> if you guys would like, share, and subscribe, I really, really, really appreciate it. I love y'all for it. But I'm going to jump off here now. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later. Peace.